I want to begin today by uh, noting that once again it is fire season in Montana. Right now, major wildfires are threatening homes in uh, a small town called Red Lodge. The Cascade Fire has been burning and has burned about 6,000 acres, and it's burning uncomfortably close to the Red Lodge Mountain ski area. The hot, dry weather forecast over the next week means that there are likely to be more fires and more acres of rangeland and forest lost. Fire season in Montana officially runs from August until the first snow in the fall. So once again, we're off to an early start. Wildfire, wildfires are becoming a fact of the West. We accept it, we deal with it. The good news is, is that Montana is blessed with outstanding firefighters from the United States Forest Service, tribal nations, and the State Department of Natural Resources, as well as first responders from local volunteer and paid fire departments. And when they need reinforcements, they turn to the Montana National Guard. Last year, more than 200 guardsmen were mobilized to help fight wildfires in Montana. And while no guardsmen have been mobilized yet this year, it will happen at some point, just as they are mobilized every year to protect people and homes, dig out fire lines, smother embers, and provide all manner of hands-on support to this team effort. Mr. President, there are not too many jobs in this country. The work is as varied as service in our National Guard. This summer, we can expect that hundreds of National Guardsmen in Montana and throughout the West will be mobilized to help fight wildfires. It has already happened in California, where the governor just called up 200 Guardsmen. This is a vital role in our nation's homeland security. And just as the Guard answers the call for homeland security missions, they answer the bell when it comes to national security. In 2004 and 2005, more than 1,500 of my state's National Guard deployed to Iraq. They did yeoman's work over there, and we can all be very, very proud of their service and grateful for it as well. Today, there are nearly 23,000 National Guardsmen serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Another 3,000 Guardsmen from all over the country work hard to protect our southern border, helping the Border Patrol get a better handle on securing that border. 400 Montana Guardsmen were a proud part of that important effort earlier this year. And so as the National Guard in Montana prepares for the inevitable mobilization fight against wildfires here at home, I think it is appropriate that we stop to thank the 3,500 strong members of our Montana National Guard for what it does both abroad and here at home. And as wildfires continue to threaten Montana's countryside and our communities, I want to pay tribute to all the brave men and women who put it on the line to fight our fires.